Okay, I'd like to demonstrate for you today just how to set a trap, a simple trap. This is a number one long spring. This is the part that's the spring, considered the long spring. This would be opposed to a coil spring, which I can show you at another time. And this would be a trap that would be used for things like catching weasels, or muskrat, or mink, or skunk, if you're so inclined. So the easiest way to set something like that if you look at the parts of it, this part right here is called the dog. This is the part that holds the jaw down. This is the pan over here. This is the part that is set so the animal places its foot on that and fires the trap. This would be the spring and these would be the jaws. The easiest way that I have to set these is to put it over a knee to get it set so that it's just centered on your knee and then simply push the spring down and then that allows the jaws to come open. Once the jaws are open, it does not take much force to hold them open. So I will simply hold the jaws open like so. And then the dog comes up over the top of the jaw. And the pan gets raised up to accommodate the jaw. Or to accommodate the dog. Like so. Then it's a matter that you can release and the trap is set. Now with long spring traps, if you'll notice, this jaw raises up a little high when the spring is set in this position. The way to remedy that, to have the jaws lay flat, is to turn the spring like so. So now you can see the um, jaws lay flat. You have an off jaw, meaning a jaw that is free to move, is not held down by the dog. That can be moved to be able to work with the pan. Adjustments on this before your setting is to set the pan so that it is level with the jaws. If you look at that, you'll see that the pan is just level with the jaws. The reason for that is that if the pan is too high, when the animal steps on the pan, it will fire and it will not have the foot in the proper position to get caught by the, by the jaws. Uh, if the pan is too low, um, there may not be clearance underneath it for it to fire if some material is to get underneath it. So if the dog is not set so that the pan is level, the dog can be adjusted by pushing it in or pulling it out. And with sets like for muskrat, tend to make it so that it takes very little to fire the trap. It would be called putting on a hairline type trigger. So the idea is so that it's set like so, and it's going to be placed so that the animal comes over uh, the pan and steps on the pan and fires the trap. So it goes something like this.